What's up, dudes and dudes to the year? Now, my name's Seth, and we are back again for another trove. trove. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, I'm very, very sick right now, everybody. So you'll have to excuse me if my voice starts breaking and I keep the volume down a little bit. But there are some very, very exciting things to talk about. And honestly speaking, uh, for those that are sitting there thinking, but Seth, if you're sick, why are you making videos? I love making videos, man. And plus, I missed all of you. It's already been like a couple days, and now I'm at the point where I guess I'm well enough that I'm getting angry, so I want to do videos, you know? Oh man, when November is over and I can finally shave this stupid mustache. Actually, it looks pretty good when I have this this whole thing going on, right? Doesn't really doesn't really match any of the any of the hairs, uh, but uh, hey, whatever. So, anyways, folks, legit, there is actually some very exciting stuff coming around the corner uh, that. I, seriously, I am so excited about it. Trove is going to be adding mini games. Oh my goodness gracious, and they are just as beautiful as you would think that they sound. Uh, the devs ended up showing it off in a live stream. No idea when that's going to show up. Hopefully sometime before the end of the year. I'm assuming they're going to try and get it in before console release. But needless to say, here I'll give you an example. Say this dungeon right here was the mini game biome. It's going to kind of operate very similarly to the code for the PvP arenas, right? So you're going to have a biome that you can completely customize, and you're also going to only have two jump in the uh, battle arena, like movement speed and stuff like that, right? So let's just say that this right here was a level that either the devs made or somebody else made. It's going to have the whole level accessible to you, and there's going to be coins all around the map for you to collect. And you got to try and collect as many of them as you can within five minutes while competing with everybody else, and also end up getting prizes at the end of the round. Now, don't quote me on this one, but the devs did give the impression... Uh, they kind of just mentioned this in passing, so I don't know if it's actually what they meant. But it sounded to me like they were going to remove dragon challenges altogether and replace it with the mini games and have that be where you get dragon coins and stuff like that. Again, don't quote me on that because that would be kind of weird. But I mean, at the same time, it's not like anybody likes the dragon challenges. Like, they suck and usually take like five minutes anyways. So it would be fine to be doing the mini games uh, that have a five minute round, right? One thing I don't like about the mini games though is that as the devs kind of mentioned that they might replace dragon challenges, I don't know if they're gonna replace it or if they're just gonna be alongside it, but the mini games are going to only give out prizes every hour. Now, that kind of sucks because Trove is in desperate need out of the two years that I've been playing this game, it has desperately needed new gameplay. These mini games sound awesome. They're really going to add to it for sure. Why am I not doing my ninja speed? But the fact of the matter is, if you can only do it every hour, I mean, what's the point? That would be like in World of Warcraft, only being able to farm every hour or something, you know? Not to mention all of the items that we know they're going to force us to grind out of those challenges, right? But still, it sounds really, really cool. You're going to be able to design them in a club world, same as the PvP arenas, which means that people are going to be able to make custom ones. We're definitely going to make a few in Team Pixel. Uh, and then also, now this has me extremely excited. I talked about this a long, long time ago, and I'm not trying to take credit for this idea. Lots of people have been wanting something like this for a very, very long time, so it's about time they're actually going to put it in game. They're going to have wing courses and boat races nobody really cares about the boat races but there's gonna be that coin collecting mini game yes but then on top of that they're gonna be able like you're gonna be able to place rings that the player has to pass through in a race so you're gonna be able to like all those insane builders out there are gonna be able to actually make fully functional wing courses where people can actually win the race same with the boat courses too which could be interesting but honestly speaking i don't like the boats not many people do because they don't really turn so you can't really make that good of a boat race with them now this is where things get very interesting folks because uh we've already visited some mount races before right and the way that you pretty much make a mount race is you'll end up having ice on the ground uh so that you're slipping around all over the place and then spikes because they stop the player now 
that could also use the rings, and then you could actually have fully functional races. Now, with that, you'd have to be very careful and take precautions to prevent people from cheating and jumping to, like, you know, a later part in the map or something like that. But still, that is just okay. We even heard the bomb sound effect, but for some reason it didn't open the glass. Needless to say, I am so stoked about that. Like, seriously. Oh, we're out of pots. We gotta be careful here. Don't worry, we're the ninja. So we have very high survivability because we don't jump all over the place. N not because of... Oh, excuse me. There's the sickness kicking in. Uh, it's not because uh, the neon ninja is, like, tanky or anything. It's just because we get to dodge around a lot. He's the only character that gets to dodge. Now, fun fact, too. This is just on the side. They're used to be a time when you could dodge and there wasn't a cooldown. I actually like that a lot better because it still ended up stopping your stamina from re regenerating or does it stop your stamina from regenerating? Let me find out. No, it doesn't. Okay. Either way, spamming dodge was actually really, really cool because combat actually took a little bit more skill than it does now and then anyways on top of that i think the uh more recent thing that's gonna show up let me actually swap my cornerstone over here can i spawn it yeah this is my old cornerstone for those that are the whole uh, hardcore fans. I gotta get rid of the islands up top though uh but yeah so they're gonna be having the turkey event come on okay the turkey event is coming sometime very very soon uh, and that's going to end up adding a couple of already existing Thanksgiving mounts, but then there's also going to be a couple new ones. And let me tell you, they look hilarious, everybody. Like, there's one of them that's just a bouncing ball mount, but it's a cooked turkey on a plate. And then more hilariously, there's one that has the bird skeleton like Jub Jub we have right here. But it's a cooked turkey, <laughs> so it doesn't have a head, and it flaps its wings around and stuff. It just, it, seriously, it's a hilarious mount that I know lots of people are going to love that one. Like, it just, it looks so dank, man, seriously. Oh no, he's going to eat my face! JK, I'm so good at this game. I know, Cat, I know you want to get on my lap. Uh, but anyways, I got to take it a little bit easy today, folks, so we're going to call the episode here. Uh, I just wanted to clue you in on all the mini games and stuff that's going on, and I completely forgot to mention about the giveaway prizes today. Thank you to Wingless Angel, Rufon1, Devil's Angry, and Geoper. We're going to be giving away a Dragon Coin Digest, Dark Wings of the Dankest Night, Punchy Dragon Pup, and Trevor the Tiger. So if you want any of those folks, you're going to have to hit the like button, be subscribed to the channel, leave a comment in the comment section down below with your username and Scarlet the Spire will respond to the winner. Then you catch either myself or Nintendo Gamer in game or just join our Discord. Links in the description for that as well. Either way, thanks for watching folks and thank you for your continued support. I uh, got so many heartfelt messages like I expected from this whole being sick thing, but I mean enough is enough. I'm still sick, but I got to work. Thanks for watching, everybody. Sign on, stay epic. Believe in yourself.